let's have a look. The chop should be ready now. Yep. Let's get them in. A couple are missing. I wonder why. <laughs> we had to test test them, okay? Let's see why they're stealing a few. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dean Allen. Welcome back to another episode of Tipsy Time. Today we're making a classic Durban Indian dish, Chops Chutney. And for those of you who are, who are not from Durban or not a Durban Indian, uh, Chops Chutney is pretty much lamb chops in a spicy tomato gravy or sauce. So yeah, let's start. It's definitely an awesome meal to have with roti or even rice, but with roti it's excellent. Uh, so yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so we got about a kg of chops. I've got all mixed up here, the loin and best end chops. I'm gonna start by marinating this. I'm gonna put in half a teaspoon of turmeric. A heap teaspoon of chili powder. A heap teaspoon of masala. Level teaspoon of garam masala, one teaspoon of salt, freshly cracked black pepper, and then a teaspoon. Maybe two teaspoons of ginger garlic paste. So we got all this in the bowl. We're gonna give it a good mix together, get it all marinated up. Okay, it looks like it's all nicely coated with our marinade. Now we're gonna let this sit for at least an hour, and then we can move on to the next step. Okay, so we're gonna start with our chops. So we we'll just get our oil into our pot and get that sort of heated up. Okay, our oil seems fine now. So we'll add in our chops to give it a fry. Okay, so our chops are in the pot. Uh, we're gonna fry this for about 30 minutes, uh, turning it every five minutes or so. We want it to be nice and soft, but also crispy on the outside. We'll keep checking on it every five minutes, but in 30 minutes, we should be ready to, to move on to the next step. Okay, so it's been five minutes. I'm gonna give you the turn. I was over excited about my lamb. I got too much in my pot, as you can see. I'm hoping they will shrink down a bit, or they will, so they fit. <laughs> this is getting a nice car. That's what I want, but I also want it to be nice and soft as well. Let's have a look. The chop should be ready now. Yep, they look fine to me. I'm gonna just remove them now onto the dish. It smells amazing. Mm. I can eat them just like this, <laughs> actually, to be honest. <laughs> Some dal and rice. Yes, perfect. And yes, this was a bit too much, yeah? <laughs> for my pot. Okay, so we're gonna start with our tomato chutney part of the dish. Let's get some oil into the pan. Oh, it looks pretty hot already. So I'm getting two chilies. About half a teaspoon worth of cumin seeds, and half a teaspoon of mustard seeds. Maybe a little. Okay, once our seeds start popping, I'm gonna get in one onion. Put that 
down to translucent. Okay, next we're gonna add in some curry leaves. Time to put you know them. Okay, our onions are ready, so I'm gonna get in a teaspoon of chili powder, a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, mix that up a bit. I'm not putting too much because our chops have quite a lot, and that's gonna go in there as well. So. And then we'll add in our tomatoes. Okay, next we're gonna get in tomatoes. I've got seven jam tomatoes which are blended. Okay, we'll give that a quick mix in. At this point you can also turn down your stove to medium low. Next, we'll just add salt to taste. You can put in a half a teaspoon of sugar. Just to break the acidity of the tomatoes. Let's give this a quick mix. And now we'll cover it up and we'll cook it till we start seeing the oil come to the top of the chutney, and then we can add our chips. Okay, so our chutney is now ready to get our chops in. Let's get them in. A couple are missing. I wonder why. <laughs> we had to taste test them, okay? Let's see why they're still in a few. Uh, luckily, there's a couple that you didn't steal. Perhaps also space. See, I was doing you a favor. Yeah, you definitely did you a favor. So now it's perfect. Now we'll cook it for another 10 minutes or so and then we'll garnish with some coriander and then we're done. Okay, so our chops is done and we got our taster. Mm -hmm. It's looking good and it's smelling really incredible. So yeah, we're having this with the roti but it also goes really well with the rice. Really, really flavorful. Um, I think frying the chops beforehand in all of those spices like that really helps the the flavors all settle in. Um, and then oh, I, I think I'm just such a big fan of chutney in general, or what uh, Durban South Africans, uh, South African Indians call uh, um, this uh, sort of tomato-ish gravy, um, full of flavor. Overall, just a really, really perfect dish.